Hi, this is Avara from Scrappy Mania, and today I want to show you how to create this lovely flower with, a, with two simple punches. So let me go over the material you're going to need. You're going to need a push pan or mouse or anything that has some cushion, and you're going to need an embossing tool because we're going to go ahead and give, give some dimension to this flower. So it's for the center. You need the embossing tool for the center. You're going to need some kind of piercer in order to make the hole in the middle. We are going to use some wire, so you're going to need either a bead or something. It's a small little bead and a wire. Something that you can thread through for your flower. And I'm using this little wire. The punch that I'm using is this McGill 2 and 1 8 um, Floriano. That's the name of the punch. But any kind of five petal punch will work or flower or you can also use the um, your Cricut or anything like that so any five petal flower will work but I, ha I happen to have this one so I'm going to use this one you are also going to need a flower um, either a five or a six petal flower a skinny one like this so I just happen to have this punch that I just purchased at Michael for $1.29 and that's the one I'm going to be using for the center and you're going to need eight of these and three of the regular flowers of this flower any five petal flower I'm also using some starch so it's because I want my flower to be stiff so I decided to use some starch and also you're going to need something some kind of um, chalk or any kind of ink or anything that you would like to give like a little blush color to your flowers. So these flowers are white with a little bit of pink blush and a little bit of yellow in the center and actually what I used for this one was some soft pastels that I purchased at Joann's and it was very cheap. It was like two or three dollars of um, soft pastels for that. Um, I'm also using these washable markers and and these are like watercolor markers. They do um, re it react with water. And that's what I'm going to use to color my centers. You're also going to need a hot glue gun and a heat gun, or if you have a, a hair dryer, anything like that, anything to dry your, your flowers, you're going to need that. So you're going to take. The first thing we need to kind of do is give it some color, give our center a nice little yellow color like you see there. So I'm going to take my marker and just put color on one side, turn my marker over and put color on the next side, on the other side. And this is a wonderful flower to start to use your scraps. You can make a lot of these ahead of time and I have a lot of white scrap paper. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking my white scrap paper and creating flowers with those. And I'm giving it a little bit of slight blush color. So that way it will go with any layout that I want. You can also do this when you are creating a layout with, it, with the scraps of the paper left over from your layout. And um, you can use it for to coordinate with the papers of either your paper stack or your collection. Okay, so once you have colored the centers of your flower, you're gonna take these and you're gonna take your embossing tool and you're just gonna emboss. You're gonna pull from the top of one petal to the center and when you do that on each of the petals, when you do that, it starts curving up and creating kind of like a cone shape like you can see there and that's what we want we want it to kind of create that cone effect in the center and then push down and put it aside so I'm going to go ahead and do that to all these my eight um, little centers and I shall be back okay I embossed all my flowers and I'm, now I'm ready to glue. And by the way, I got these at um, Joann's in the Mod Podge aisle. And they're great. They prevent you from burning your fingers. Um, one of my, um, a comment in one of my flower tutorials, a YouTuber left a comment saying that they had these things too. Um, so that way to prevent you from burning your finger. Because I did burn my finger doing that tutorial. So... Thank you for, the, who, for leaving me that comment, and um, if you haven't seen these,
go ahead and purchase these if you're using a lot of hot glue because it helps because you always tend to burn your finger at least I do so I am going to put some glue on my um, my bead and then I'm gonna push that stem or that flower up and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in the middle because I wanna close this one is gonna be a little closed okay then I'm gonna feed the next one and that's where I use my um, I use my needle, um, pier my piercer, because it helps me kind of bring it up. Put some glue in the center, just a little bit, and then pull it up. And do one more. And then take this one. Gonna feed it through. Put a little bit of adhesive and then pull it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that. So you keep stacking the flowers, putting a little little dab of glue at the end or in the middle of each of the, of the petals or each of the flowers, and then just pushing it up against the bead as you can see there. So there's my center is formed. Okay, so now we're going to start working on our petals here. So before I mist or I wet my petal with starch, I'm going to go ahead and make a hole in the center. I'm going to take these off. Okay. So you make a hole in the center and then you're going to use some of your starch. And you're going to wet the flowers. Then you're going to need a paintbrush or something round. You can use a skewer or anything that's round will work. And you're going to take your petal and you're going to curve one petal at a time over your skewer or your paint, the back of a paintbrush or anything like that. And then you're going to squish. You're going to squish. See how I'm squishing? You're going to squish the middle and make that nice little. Um, pleats or those nice little folds that you see there. Do that to every flower. This needs a little more. And you're probably wondering why I'm using starch because it gives it a lot. I feel like the starch gives it a little more body and will maintain the shape better than if I would just use plain water. But you can use plain water if you don't have starch. So you're going to take it carefully. See how I crimple it? Very carefully. Make sure you don't kind of break your flower. You're going to use your fingernails to kind of just pinch. Pinch and pull towards the center. See how I pinch it and pour towards the center? Try not to kind of break your flower. And then put it aside to dry. And I'm going to do that to the rest of the flowers. And I shall be back. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to take your flower and you're going to dry it. Now that it's nice and dry, you're going to take your center. And you're going to put it in one of the flowers. Put a little bit of glue at the bottom. And then pull up. You're going to feed the next flower and make sure you offset it just a little bit. 
Put some glue in the middle. Pull it up. And then the last flower is going to fill in the gaps right there, right here. Put in some glue. Now we're not finished because notice the flower is complete. However, you look at this, the center looks a lot different than this center because what I did is this one came off so if they come off like this one happens to come off just glue it back on with some hot glue okay so what you're going to take is take some of your starch put it in the center and kind of push the center in and that's why I use the watercolor or the washable markers because see how it bleeds that yellow bleed and I just like that it just looks kinda nicer I feel push it down see how I pushed it down and then take your heat gun and dry it put a little bit of more glue there because I wanna make sure the center is is well adhered onto that flower and there you have it now the last thing that I will do is I can take a little bit of my homemade glimmer glam. So basically what you take is I'm going to use this homemade glitter glam that I made with just some glazing medium and some nice fine silver color um, glitter and just kind of put it on your flower like you see here. And then I'll put the same here, put a little bit. Put a lot in the center and then some on the side. So this is a the, one of the flowers. It looks almost like a daisy. And here's the other flower. So I hope I, um, I inspire you to create these lovely flowers with your leftover scraps. And thank you for watching. Bye now.